Hey guys, friends, I'm Zetan Lacey here with another video. Today I got another um, video, uh, more specifically a rank video of all the movies and characters that I love from 2002, which is the same year I was born. Like, I can't believe I was born the same year as these, like, you know, movies and series and such. Also, I apologize. I apologize if you can hear any background sound. I'm try I'm sort of in a public place, but um, I'm trying to like you know get this video done out there before 2002 ends. So, yeah, here are my, here are my rankings for my favorite 2002 media. Number five will have to be um, Carrie 2002, as I liked most of the other characters in this list. Now, to be honest, uh, when I first um, heard of the Carrie movies, I didn't know there was like three of them. So, I decided to take a look at the 2002 one, because it was made in the same year I was born. And, um, yeah, I did enjoy it. I watched it on YouTube, and, um, it was really interesting. And I like this take on Carrie more, because apparently this one has more scenes from the book compared to the other two movies. The original one and the 2013 one. And I, I can't believe, I, I, I actually enjoyed the song, the ending song, and some of the other songs from that movie. But yeah, Carrie 2002 was a great adaptation of Carrie, and I and it's really sad that it's really underrated. I also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but um, she destroyed her town. The original one just destroyed the school. The uh, the 2013 one, she destroyed like part of the town, but not too much. I mean, she did create a hole in the on the street, but 2002 Carrie, Carrie she literally destroyed her her town, every house around her, but. Yeah. Number four will have to be Ultraman Cosmos and the Blue Planet. I mean, I haven't... I've seen some of it, but I didn't watch all of it. And to be honest, Ultraman Cosmos, I do like him. He's a really nice Ultra, very kind, peace Ultra, but a lot of people seem to not like him for some reason. I don't know. Is I mean, if Cosmos is really that boring, that lame, then how come he got so many movies and so many... Like, like, you know, tributes, especially in Ultra and Ginga as the movie where Cosmos was literally like, you know, right next to Ginga. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Cosmos, I really like him. Number three will have to be Power Rangers Wild Force. Wild Force, Power Rangers. Yeah, I have to do it. Um, yeah, Power Rangers Wild Force, cannot believe it came out in 2002. And apparently, one of my family members, uh, my brother, uh, really, really loved this series when he was younger. Apparently, he watched it so many times um, in his country. And yeah, I mean, every time he would get home from school, he would turn on TV and hear that, like, you know, opening sound like, wow, wow, force, you know. Yeah, I, I watched this series, uh, I think, in 2012 or 13. I mean, I did watch some of it back in 2002. I think, um, but I, th most importantly, I did rewatch it on, on Netflix in um, 2010, 2013, I, I can't remember, but the point is, I really love Wild Force, I love the characters, I love the rangers, I love the Megazord battles, I like the battles in general, like, everything about Wild Force I did, I did like so much, although I might re- I may, I may rewatch it and to see uh, what parts I didn't like, but yeah. And also, who can forget the Forever Red battle scene? Man, I can't believe this. That was the only time we've ever we've ever had all every single Red Ranger team up. And it's very unlikely that we're gonna do it again, mainly because well, because um, Ninja Storm Red is has passed, and as well as uh, Jason David Frank, who was you know Red Seal. So yeah, it's very unlikely we'll ever get another Forever Red episode. Number two will have to be Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, or Godzilla x Mechagodzilla, or Godzilla for Kiryu, you, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, um, back when I was like a Godzilla fan, mainly a Godzilla fan, and watching some of the, a lot of the movies, I really like um, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. It was a decent movie overall. I like the characters. I love the action scenes, specifically the military scenes. Very like realistic in terms of like seeing the military fighting Godzilla or try to stop him and yeah but the battle scenes with Kiryu the, especially the final battle scenes will have to be really awesome in my opinion like Kiryu is one of the top of my favorite like you know mechas that can go to like hand-to-hand -hand combat well my number one will have to be Showa Mechagodzilla because he did like you know beat the 
the living behind that of uh, Godzilla. That sounds so cringy. Um, yeah, overall, Godzilla against Mega Godzilla, I really enjoyed it. And I still continue to this day rewatch it because I like the movie and I like Godzilla and I like Kiryu. Not to mention that part where the theater blacked out. Yeah. Now, my number one favorite movie or series or character from 2002 will have to be my childhood hero. A movie that I watched so many times when I was young and continue on to this day we watched like you know some clips of the movie itself because I remember seeing it so much on my VHS VHS TV and that character is Spider-Man believe me Tobey Maguire Spider-Man like I know I will sound I know I know I will sound like people who have already said this but Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, it was a huge, like, you know, nostalgia for me. I watched it so many times when I was a kid. Even when I was, like, like less than 10 years old, like, I rewatched it so many times on my VHS TV. Back when I had TV, I, I didn't really have TV to watch, that, you know, TV shows. But I did have VHS of uh, Sp Spider-Man. And I rewatched the first movie, second movie. Yeah, and saw the third movie in theaters, I think, but... Yeah, I was. I really love the villains from Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. I love Tobey Maguire himself, like you know, as Peter Parker. Yes, um, considering nowadays it became a meme, but it doesn't take away the fact that I grew up with Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Honestly, he is the best Spider-Man in my opinion. I don't really necessarily hate Tom Holland or Andrew Garfield. I I both like them, but Tobey Maguire is, is n without a shadow of a doubt my Spider-Man. Like I grew up with, I grew up with him. I was sad to see him, like you know, not return and like no Spider-Man Four. But at least in No Way Home, we get to see him one last time. Although I'm not sure if he's gonna come back again. I mean, there are rumors going around that he could be in Avengers: Scarlet mm, Secret Wars. But I'm not sure. But we'll just have to wait and see. But so far, Tobey Maguire himself. Every time I hear the word Spider-Man, I hear Peter Parker, I just think of that theme, like, you know, the, the, responsibility, the responsibility theme, and I think of Tommy McGuire himself. Literally, every time I hear Spider-Man and Peter Parker, I think of Tobey McGuire and the movies themselves. Not just him, but the, the moments that happened with them, especially the train scene. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, it sounds like it's nostalgia pandering, but... But come on, there's no doubt Tobey Maguire's Tobey Maguire Spider-Man is like freaking like the best Spider-Man out of all. Tom and Andrews were okay. I like them, but Tobey is my number one Spider-Man. But yeah, I mean, on my 20th birthday, I kind of wish he can like send me a I don't know, a little video message, but eh, I'm pretty sure the guy is busy. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all the characters of 2002, the same year I was born. Same year as Carrie, 2002. Power Rangers Wild Force, 2002. Ultraman Cosmos, The Blue Planet, 2002. Godzilla against Mega Godzilla, 2002. And most importantly, Spider Man, 2002. So, yeah, guys, um, hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you don't miss a video, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. All that will be linked down below. And, yeah, guys, um, yeah. This is my one last video for 2002. Man, I can't believe I just turned 20 years old. Alright, so... I turned 20, and, um... I'm starting to, like, you know, get a little worried about what being an adult, like, being in mid-20s is gonna be like. And, yeah, wish me, wish me luck on it, guys. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.